Today, I want to teach you how you can set up a SOX5 proxy from Dishful SOX. So in case you want to use it to open Fiverr account, PayPal account and the likes, so this is how you can set it up. So I will show you how you can sign up, pay for it and set it up on your browser. So let's dive right in. Okay, so you go on your Chrome and search for Dishful SOX. You can just enter it to Google. Then you see the first one on the list, which is dishfulsocks.net. So that's the one you recognize it with this logo that is showing this red logo just, just click on it so from here you need to sign up if you don't have an account so i will just click on sign up and enter the details your username i'll put fermi victor email so once you're done filling the details you click on the continue button as you can see registration successful please log in so i need to enter the same details login so i click on continue as you can see now the menu on the side panel i've changed which means i've logged in if you click on the profile you see the login details so just click on buy socks yeah you'll be able to see the pricing plans we see the daily plans and all the plans i think the best for us now is this daily 50 for eight dollars which will expire in the next 30 days so it is for 30 days eight dollars and we'll be giving daily 50 socks so if you want to test you can just go for the one day package which is one dollar and they will give us 50 socks for the day so let's go with this one because in my next video we're using this to create a fiverr account but for now so let's go with the second on the list so we need to select the payment method we want to use so i'd advise you use litecoin since seems to be the best you can also use other ones if you can afford the transfer fee but litecoin has very affordable fee the fee is small so i click on litecoin so and now i have this page so i have to pay within two hours i think that's okay so all you have to do now is to copy this payment address so i've copied it that's their litecoin address so as you can see here i need to pay 0 0.11562 that's the amount that i need to pay in litecoin so and this is the address i'm paying to so copy i've copied the address so i need to go to my binance or any other crypto app that you are using i'll go to my binance so i only have usdt i'll need to convert let's say around ten dollar or eight or nine dollar to litecoin so as to use that litecoin to to make payment okay right from this home page you can search for litecoin as you can see a litecoin versus usdt that's the one i need to pick and i want to buy so on this convert page i need to select usdt because that's where i have my money then i want to buy litecoin litecoin as you can see i'll click this i would like to exchange 20 dollars to litecoin so i click on preview conversion and i'm converting 20 usdt to litecoin and this is the amount that we're getting so i click on convert completed so i have litecoin now so i need to go back to the home page uh, wallet from wallet and i want to transfer no, not transfer i want to withdraw it will be in form of withdrawal so i click on withdraw I'll select litecoin send via crypto network and i'll need to paste the address that i copied here this address that i've copied i need to paste it right here and the network will be litecoin of course so and the amount that i'm entering i can also copy the amount right here and paste it here so as you can see the usd equivalent which is 8.46 i'm supposed to send this amount but if you look at the receiving amount it is still less than the amount i'm supposed to send and to factor in the fee so that this receive amount has to be this or slightly higher than this that's when they will acknowledge the payment because it has to be this that they will receive they have to receive up to this amount so a lot of people used to make this mistake and they will just enter the amount just like this but they won't consider the amount that will be received so we need to factor in that and ensure we calculate the fee and the amount they will receive is higher than or equal to this one eleven fifty six two so eleven fifty six so let's say fifty seven here okay as you can see now 11.56.3 i think that's best i think the fee is 0 0.0010 i think that's the fee so this is 11.562 i think we are good to go let's click on withdraw and we confirm the withdrawal the withdrawal is in process we need to wait for it to say completed then we check this to see if the payment has been acknowledged we need to wait 
for a while so if you find this video helpful please share it to your friends and family so that they can learn how to do this too in my next video i'll be showing you how you can create a perfectly working foreign fiverr account using the socks 5 we've set up today so make sure you watch my next video and please subscribe to my channel and see you bye